Hello everyone, how are you? I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to another episode. This is yours truly, Tech Gear Guy. Now it is early August and that could only mean one thing. That means school's about to start up again and all the children are unhappy and all the parents are happy. The order in this universe is now restored. All right, so we'll make things a little bit less painful for the kids that are going back to school. Um, this video will be basically done based on me as a parent. I have two children that are high school sophomore and a high school junior coming um, once the school starts up again next week. So this is everything based on their actual real needs, uh, my actual situation to facilitate the children with things that they I, I foresee them needing. Uh, there is no sponsor uh, situation with this episode, so no product is being shoved down my throat to be featured. Um, in my YouTube channel here, I typically you know, feature a lot of business-related equipment, enterprise level. However, however, in this episode, we will actually take a look at things that our children would need. So whether you're watching this video as a student that's going back, whether you are a parent just uh, like I am sending your kids back to school, some of the things that could be considered will be featured in this video. Okay, so we'll get started with... So a lot of... We'll get started with our item number one, which is Netgear. Orbi. So Netgear Orbi is a new breed, one of the new breed of Wi-Fi router gateway situation for your home network. Um, you know, typically you, you, I'm, I'm sure everybody's familiar with Netgear, Belkin, D-Link, Linksys. All these names are very familiar with uh, as a companies that have been making, you know, home networking equipment. So. Recently, over the last of maybe about a year and a half or so, there have been new breed of equipment that's been available out in the market and they all feature wireless mesh network. And Orbi is one of the better ones out of uh, that breed. So thing about the uh, Netgear Orbi is that it's a gigabit backhaul between the router and the satellite units that you would have. So they are extremely fast in terms of throughput within the, the uh, within the network, and also unlike traditional units, the SSID is a single. Uh, so you don't have a separate SSID for 2.4 gig network versus 5 gig network, and so on and so forth. And one of these units alone can cover up to 2,500 square feet in. Um, according to the manufacturer and there's no real scientific way for me to really uh, validate that but for my house um, these two units are plenty enough to cover every nook and cranny in this particular house and um, tri-band Wi-Fi is featured and uh, this is AC 3000 by the way and um, the reason why you need a really good Wi-Fi network, obviously, you know, it's kind of, it, it goes without saying, something that's fast and reliable for them to literally be anywhere in the house with their laptops and tablets, uh, including the phones, get reliable, fast connection without the dreaded buffering dial. Uh, that is very, very important. So I decided to show the item number one is the Netgear Orbi. Item number two will be a backpack. So every new school year starts, all the kids get new backpacks, new sneakers. I don't know, when I was going to school, you know, I was recycling backpacks from the previous school year. I, I don't know when the whole thing shifted and changed where every year I need to buy my kids new backpacks. I, I don't know, first, first world problem, I'm sure. All right, so um, this year, we one of my kids will be going back to school with this backpack. It's a Vulcan backpack, um, casual backpack with a charging port. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, real quick. So in the bag, you have a plenty of cushioning, and this lumbar cushion is a super nice, and that actually, inside there is a zipper, um, and there's a storage pocket right here, and on the uh, backpack strap, 
itself, you have the sunglass loop, nice touch I guess, and on top you have the earbud headphone port, and on the si each side of the backpack there is a pocket so things like a water bottle can be fit in here. Now, what is the feature of this backpack is this USB port that's on board on the backpack so you could easily shove in your charging cable and charge your device outside. Now, however, the manufacturer does not include a battery. So you do need your separate power bank to go with the backpack. So inside there is a pocket and there is a USB port so that you can attach your own power bank. So that is that and there is a, a plenty of padding for your laptop or tablet whatever you wish to take mesh pocket for uh, things plenty of room right here plenty of depth it's about uh, it's over six inches actually width wise for your binders and accordion files and textbooks and everything else got your other pockets for different things and another pocket here on the flap so Overall, very minimalistic design. Um, there isn't, this is not one of those backpacks where it's designed to take everything and the kitchen sink kind of backpack. Um, it is a, again, very minimalistic design. Um, does have the USB charging capability so long as you provide your own power bank. So that's the Vulcan casual backpack with USB port. So segueing from here, Okay, so from the backpack that needed a power bank, now item number three would be the USB power banks. So let's take a look. The first item I'm gonna show you is Jackery, Bol um, Jackery Bolt. So this particular power bank is nice for a couple of different reasons. Yeah, how, uh, you know, how cool, how much cool really power bank can be but uh, this is uh, one of the ones that I actually do like a lot so it has an onboard flashlight in case you need and uh, 6,000 milliamp pretty much all standard you know as far as the power banks are concerned what I do like is that it comes with its own set of cables your lightning cable for your Apple devices and your other type of USB for your Samsung phones and whatever else. Um, you know, these are children, right? Whether you're shopping for junior high kid, high school kid, even for some college kids, you know, just l one less thing they have to carry, they have to throw into their backpack is a good thing in my in my book. And um, you know, chance of you know, well, what's the point of having a power bank without act with, without the cable? And you know, a lot of a lot a lot of kids, you know, forget to take necessary cables with them. That's why I love this particular unit, which comes handy with its own cables. And then you have your USB port, so you can uh, shove in your other uh, you you can shove in the uh, USB cable for charging other things that is not a lightning cable or the uh, micro USB. Um, okay, so in this case, the um, this power bank will uh, provide the ju necessary juice for the backpack that I showed earlier. All right, so however, the thing about this guy is, although this is not the biggest one you can buy, um, it, it is somewhat somewhat hefty. It's not that bad, but in the event your kid prefers something lighter, I have PNY LM3000. This is a power bank that's uh, gonna supply 3,000 milliamps. So it's about two full cycles of uh, iPhone charge. Um, or just something that will just get you through the day is what this will do. Um, no, it, it does not have a flashlight, any of those um, questionable features. But again, it does come with its own set of cables so, so that the children don't have to carry any of separate cables for their power banks. Again, iOS cable, I mean a lightning cable for your iOS device and just generic standard USB type. So 
this thing wears bare. Uh, this thing weighs barely nothing. It's about six ounce. Um, it's really fits easily into any backpack pocket. Um, when I go out, ex when, when I go out on the all day exercise, I actually take this with me just so that my um, phone and my Garmin devices can be juiced and not run out, run out um, in the middle of my exercise. So another quite nice unit. So now on to the next. All right, item number four. Is it four? Actually, I lost my uh, lost my count. All right. So if you've been to local Best Buy or what have you, something that you would have seen is absolute oversaturation in terms of a Bluetooth speakers. I mean, they have things that are flashing, they have things that are doing all kinds of different things. At the end of the day, Bluetooth speaker, exactly what it should be is provide wireless functionality so that nothing can be tethered. Um, perhaps decent sound, you know, decent enough sound quality so that the um, thing, the entertainment kids are enjoying could be experienced without any sort of uh, ill effects. That's about what I'm looking for when I'm shopping for something like Bluetooth speaker for my kids going back to school. So I don't need anything that's, you know, Bose. I don't need anything that's, you know, big. I don't need anything that's a flashy. What I am looking for is something exactly like this. This is Poke Audio Boom Swimmer Duo. So as you can tell from the product name, it is completely waterproof and it is a shock resistant with its, it's you know pretty much plastic, but there is um, a lot of um, soft touch. Actually, it feels very good to the touch, um, rubberized plastic. The sound quality is great. It's, uh, it gets pretty loud. Of course, the loudness doesn't necessarily mean the audio quality is good. Don't get that twisted. But the hook here can be shaped any shape or form. So you could uh, hang it on your backpack. It, you can throw it inside of a backpack with no regard. There's nothing, you know, bumps will not damage this um, particular speaker. If you get two of these, you could actually use them as a stereo which is also very nice. Comes in a lot of different fun colors. Um, this is basically what it is. I mean, these are children. They're gonna lose things and you don't need to buy them anything super expensive, super nice. This provides hours of entertainment for your child and his and her buddies at a you know hang. Um, so that's about that as far as this is concerned. Easily replaceable. Um, what else? Oh, also, um, obviously the phone connect connectivity. So uh, could be used as a speakerphone. Um, very nice. Cannot recommend more. Now, having said that, if the needs of audio quality is a little bit more important and yet you're still looking for something that's portable. This unit is actually discontinued, but you can still get them. And actually it plays to your advantage because it, even though it is discontinued by Jawbone, the old, the old new stock could be had for about 41 bucks on Amazon. So a nice, sturdy aluminum construction, um, ease, very easy pairing um, procedure and sound quality is absolutely spectacular. Uh, what you don't want is a too boomy of a bass, uh, clear definition in the mid range and travel and this unit, even though, I mean, look how tiny it is. Yes, it is slightly bigger than the Polk Audio Boom, but based on its size and the value that you get from just spending that kind of money, much, much, much value presented in this particular device. Jawbone, jam box, mini. Okay, next item. So not everybody can use Bluetooth speakers uh, because of, you know, surroundings, library or, you know, whatever, where you cannot disrupt the others. But if your child needs to still enjoy music or whatever in privacy, you would need earbuds, headphones, what have you. Okay, so as far as the earbuds are concerned, Whatever that you can get at local Target, great. You want to spend $9.99, I mean $9.99, great. If you can 
If you want to spend $49.99, great, go for it. Doesn't matter. It's not like the, the kids are kids are uh, audiophile. They're not really looking for any great quality in terms of uh, audio re reproduction. Something that's sturdy, something that could be tossed around, something that you can live with, live with even if they get lost. So that's as far as the earbuds are concerned. Now I am a little bit more selective when it comes to actual headphones. So um, today I'm gonna recommend and show you a Symphony One from Definitive Technology. Okay, these are a little bit pricey. Um, they are well north of $300. These are Bluetooth. Um, as you know, iPhone 7s and upcoming iPhone 8s, they don't have audio jacks, so um, you kind of need to go with the Bluetooth. So the reason why I like these in the sea of, you know, boutique, high-end headphones or you know whatever first of all on ear headphones I don't care for because after a while of listening they do hurt these are um, over the ear so they cup ears very uh, very nicely the foam padding is absolutely just luxurious very soft to touch and um, no pressure at all when you wear these um, for a long time and great controls presented right on the headphone. Uh, I believe that's the right hand side. Anyhow, so that and uh, with the Bluetooth connectivity, the sound quality is just awesome. Uh, audio reproduction quality is uh, indeed spot on, just on point with these. Uh, battery life is great and um, they're, I mean, it's just absolute solid, solid material. Um, the way they are put together, very, very nice. Love these headphones. So these would be what I would recommend to you for legit headphone need. Okay, finally, back to school tech video cannot end without a laptop. So what kid does not use a laptop nowadays? Now, if your kids uh, go to a school that they provide laptops, that can even be taken out of classroom and to home, that's great. Um, my children uh, spent the last entire year on Chromebook, which worked out very nicely. Uh, they do need a little bit more than the features that are provided Chromebooks this year, so we will be going to something different, but um, I don't know what everybody's needs are, so here's what I will talk about today. So, you know, I've, a lot of um, back to school tech videos have uh, shown not many options in terms of laptops. Um, a lot of them have uh, generic um, recommendations. Things are, you know, considered a little bit prototypical, um, for lack of a better term, that I may end up doing the same thing. But here are some of the picks that I would give you, just like the other guys. 2016 late MacBook Pro. The one I'm showing, what I'm holding here is the 13-inch uh, unit with the touch bar screen. Um, I do have carbon skin to protect the uh, exterior. Now the MacBook Pro is obviously extremely solid build quality, great um, ecosystem in the App Store. Um, screen is phenomenal. The keyboard with the butterfly um, technology takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, solid trackpad. Every, you know, pretty much good. In terms of a performance of sheer horsepower, it does lack a little bit based on what you're spending. Um, so that's just something you need to be considered of. Now, it does have a headphone jack. However, as you already know, in terms of a port availability, it sucks. So if your children have, you know, things that they will need I, I guess in, like a college student would fare better with this type of notebook than junior high, high school kids maybe, but it's a dongle life all day long. So you're gonna have to have a dongle adapter for you, traditional USB 2.0, 3.0 uh, stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that is the negative. Um, if that does not bother you or your um, children, great. Good solid pick. A bit of pricier pick but works well and also you know giving it to giving a MacBook um, or MacBook Pro 
to your junior high kids or high school kids a little bit of peace of mind because less susceptible to malware ransomware virus attacks and what have you not that those things don't exist on mac platform but you know it is still where all those things uh they do exist attacking windows ecosystem a lot more so there you go macbook pro would be one of my picks next pick would be extremely solidly built microsoft surface laptop i believe this is early 2017 yeah so um in terms of build quality so, uh, you know solid aluminum build not a screw in sight um, everything is just glued solid um, there is no a screw that you can open but uh, dead sexy of course sexy is not what you're looking for when you talk about back to school but what what it represents is a solid build quality that could last year two possibly three years without um, just thing crumbling on you so um, with the Alcantara covered um, base the keyboard experience typing experience on a surface laptop is very pleasant there's just just the right amount of travel keystroke base is solid um, there's I mean there is flex there is not gonna be any computer that doesn't have a flex but the I mean it this is one of the better ones in terms of uh, solid build quality screen with the three uh, three by two aspect ratio extremely easy on the eye just I don't I have you know hard time faulting Microsoft surface laptop um, of course, I could bitch a little bit about it, uh, the same thing that I did with the MacBook Pro, and that is the um, somewhat lack of a port compatibility um, versatility. Because uh, on the side, all you're getting is the uh, typical USB port, um, the mini display port, and the audio jack. That's about it. So you do have a little bit of dongle life happening with this as well. However, at least they gave you the traditional USB port where you know kids can have a uh, thumb drives uh, go in and out without having an adapter as simple as that so there you go Microsoft Surface laptop now my next pick is <sighs> refreshing my next pick is very similar to what I just showed you however this will be my pick if you are gonna spend upwards of thousand dollars this is Microsoft Surface Pro not Pro 5 um, this is what replaced the Microsoft Surface 4 which was extremely well made and well received this has however you know tremendous improvement over that unit um, <clears throat> to worth mentioning and the reason why this is my pick over the Surface Laptop is it just is in terms of a versatility. Um, kids will s evidently spill something. Um, their hands are not necessarily always clean. So in the event your Alcantara keyboard is compromised, you could just get rid of the one that's compromised, go get a new one for $140 or whatever it is, and just shove it. Uh, shove it in get it attached and then it's good again um, and also with the millennial children's um, you know growing up with their parents iPads and iPhones or what have you they are very very uh, you know used to the tablet form factor so having the tablet mode which they can just sit on the couch without the you know need of a full keyboard watching Netflix or whatever in the dorm or doing something that does not require a full keyboard, then they can just operate on a tablet mode, which is very nice option to have. The aforementioned Surface laptop does not provide you with the uh, full um, tablet mode like the Lenovo Yoga units do, so they can't go into tablet mode. So you are stuck as a just a regular laptop and then again that is the selling point of that unit 
Uh, of course, the downside of going with the Microsoft Surface Pro like this is that this is a separate cost. When you buy it, it's just this. So when you spend $12.99, you get a full laptop here with the Core i5, 256 gig of uh, solid state drive and eight gig of RAM. That's exactly what you get with the Surface Pro, just that. So this is an extra cost. So that's something to uh, think about. But the spec wise, I mean, this is the seventh generation Core i5 KV Lake processor running with no fan. So there's no fan noise. The air ventilation uh, engineering is just state of the art, if you ask me. The form factor is great. Yes, it is a slightly thick if you just consider it being as just a tablet only. However, uh, the versatility that it gives you, it's not that bad at all in terms of a form factor. And just overall, just very nice unit to have uh, going back to school. Cannot recommend enough. All right, so that takes me to the final laptop that I will show you. Everything we've talked about so far, extremely expensive, well north of $1,000. I'm a parent. Every dollar that I spend has to, it, it needs to travel far. Um, of course, it's just easy for me to sit here and, and throw, you know, $1,400 laptops at each kid and be done with it. But unfortunately, I'm not in that situation and I'm assuming many of you aren't in that situation either. Or if you are a student and you, uh, you know, you, you, you're watching your spending and you need, you, you need to be cautious of where your money goes. And if that's not the way, I'm going to show you something that I feel is the pick of the year for me in terms of this year's back to school event is concerned. So this is a Dell Inspiron 15. So it is not as sexy as what I showed you earlier. It is plasticky. However, it doesn't feel that cheap. I uh, have not been a big fan of a Dell computer because of the, of course, minus the XPS line. Um, especially Inspiron and some latitudes, they are very plasticky and they don't really give you, you know, a lot of substance when you hold or in terms of um, <clears throat> build quality in, historically. This, however, is very nice and I was, you know, go through a couple of things with you. Um, so the texture of the top, bit of a flex, not that big of a deal. The screen is 15.6 inches. Um, they do have a version with and without touch screen. And touch is nice because, um, you know, typically I would use my left thumb to kind of scroll up and down for documents or, you know, maybe even Facebook that require a lot of vertical um, scrolling. So I don't have to use the mouse or the trackpad to do the uh, scrolling. So the touch screen option is extremely nice. And unlike the other laptops we saw earlier, this is big in a, uh, to a point where it could accommodate a lot of ports. So on one side, there's an optical drive. I can't even remember when it was last time I saw a laptop that had an optical drive available, but there is one. USB and um, the audio jack, secure digital card slot and on the other side you have two more USB 3.0, HDMI out and a full Ethernet jack. So with that you have pretty much everything covered. Granted you do not have a USB type C but you know you could get away without that uh, for the time being and trust me as in the school environment as people are and you know it, the, the traditional form factor USB thumb drive is a little bit more prevalent. So that comes, um, that, that becomes very um, useful. And look at this um, base. What you're getting is a full keyboard with a number pad on the right hand side. Great surface area, ton of uh, space to rest your hands on. Decent size enough of a trackpad. So basically what I'm seeing with this laptop is you have you get great big screen it's not as bright as i would like but 
because of the size of the screen as well as the resolution that it runs 1366 by 768 my kids don't have to squint their eyes uh, things the, the letters look big uh, I really felt terrible when they were looking at 13 inch Chromebook that was doing 1080p and the things look pretty small um, you know I teach them how to zoom in so that things appear bigger but natively and anything that I can do to lessen the strain on children's eyes that's what I'm here that that's something that um, I believe in and this laptop fits the bill and here's the kicker this is available at Best Buy for $349 so let me tell you what you're getting for $349 so everything that I've shown you so far 7th generation KB Lake Core i3 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive okay only down oh, so only thing that I'm a little bit uh, skeptical and of course they had to cut corners somewhere to bring the price down that low is the hard drive it only spins at 5400 rpm however I think that's gonna be okay a lot of the work kids do are on Google Drive uh, lots of web browsing hard drive speed will not handicap them all that often and yet one terabyte is plenty enough for them to store any locally synced Spotify music you know everything else so that's great now I don't care anything about gaming ability when the laptops are concerned for you know my children to use so I won't even go into anything about playing overwatch or Diablos or anything else so with that said this is my pick for mm, junior high high school children going back to school laptop Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series and um, for college students or if you have if you if portability is more important and budget isn't that big of a problem I would recommend you go with Microsoft Surface Pro so that wraps up this year's episode of back to school tech 2017 thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon take care